Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a latest news report coming from the uh, JerusalemPost.com by the Jerusalem Post staff, published February 1st, 2023, updated on February 1st, 2023. And it reads, rocket fire from Gaza at southern Israel, intercepted by the IDF, which is the Israeli Defense Force. And it reads, the Iron Dome anti-missile system fires intercepted missiles at as rockets are launched from Gaza towards Israel, local residents reported hearing a large blast inside the rock shortly after silent sound in the Gaza border communities. And it says rocket silence in Sadar Ivan and near um, southern Israel on Wednesday afternoon. The IDF later confirmed that it identified one launch from the Gaza Strip that was intercepted by the Iron Dome air defense system. Local residents reporting hearing a large blast and the sud rock shortly at the siren sound in the Gaza border community. The side rock honestly Release a statement later on Wednesday evening, scratched that no direct hit was reported from the city. Sha'ar Hagarif Region Council also confirmed that no rockets landed within its borders, boundaries of Mitzvah Salaki. He said, This is a developing story. According to the uh, news article from the Jerusalem Post, this is the book of uh, Luke, chapter, and this is amending tensions uh, currently stirred up between the uh, the Israelis and the Palestinians and Hezbollah versus Israel as well too. Now, for the past week, I say you've been seeing uh, rockets firing back at one at one another between the Gaza Script and between Israel. Rocket. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9, in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, and that's what we're hearing right now, between uh, Israel and Palestine, in Israel versus uh, Hezbollah. It says, uh, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be ye not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Right, so we're going to see these increasing proxy wars, these increasing wars and rumors of wars. We're going to see the increase of uh, nations rising up against one another. And we're going to continue to see this increasing. I believe it was a lot of case I say yesterday when I scrolled down see and I seen the highlight of it when I was uh, scrolling by past the news feed on my uh on the news article I'll be uh keeping eye on all the time and I believe it was even though it's so used you we always so used to custom of hearing over there in the Middle East of people you know uh ramming their cars into people you know, try to attempt to do that. I believe it was one incident happened uh, day before yesterday, or it was recently though, and uh, a person uh, used his car to injure like two or three people. And I believe he was either taken into custody or uh, uh, shot by the uh, IDF, which is the uh, Israeli Defense Force. 
I believe it most likely it was a Palestinian did that. So that shows you uh, increasing signs of uh, hostility and tensions between the uh, Palestinians and the Israelis, which is the uh, Israeli Defense Force. And these tensions have been going on quite a very long time. And it's definitely going to increase more and more and more. And that's why I brought out the, uh, the scripture of Luke 21 and 9. You know, and I'm going to read it again for uh, edification's sake for the sit down lesson. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be ye not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Right, and that's what we're seeing, uh, increasing hostility and tensions between these uh, two different nations. <laughs> and this has been going on quite some week now, amending the current tensions are heating up over there in the Middle East in that region over there as this is the latest one right here a rocket fire from Gaza at southern Israel intercept the IDF and you know Gaza which is by you know Hezbollah you know they do that in a response to what was uh, happened to the Palestinians you know they was uh, responding back of what happened to the uh, Palestinians of that uh, raid by the IDF, you know, uh, last week that killed like nine Palestinians. So, you know, they are definitely responding back to that. They're going to continue to respond back to that because you're going to see these hostilities increasing between the Palestinians and the Israelis. It's going to increase more and more and more, you know, as the current tensions are already increasing, you know. Especially with this past week, and now we're entering in a new week. Potentially going to see more tension stir up, you know. And I believe uh, Anthony Blinken, uh, representation of the Biden administration in the United States, Middle East, a couple of days, I believe, like a day or two, and he spoke to the person of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. And then uh, it was an article that I read. It said, uh, he, you know, he left the meetings, uh, Anthony Blinken of representation of the Joe Biden administration. You know, he had that meeting with uh, ben Benjamin Netanyahu, see if they was gonna make some type of progress of a peace deal between the both sides. You know, that two state solution stuff. And he walked away with unsuccessfully uh, not getting a peace deal, you know, no progress of it, you know. So that shows you uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden discretion come upon them. So, you know, these two sides are not going to show any peace towards one another. You know, it's not going to happen. You know, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. Slocky about that. I was talking to my OG and my brother. So, yeah, uh, you're going to see that uh, increase in hostility and tensions between these two nations, you know. And it's going to increase more and more and more. Like I mentioned again, you know, we so are used to a custom of hearing these uh, tensions between these two nations been going on quite some while now. But it's definitely going to currently stir up with the current tensions that's going on right now. And that's the real response to that, you know, with that uh, raid from the Israelis, you know. And so with that, uh, hopefully this lesson was edifying about this recent news article that just came out as of February 1st, 2023. 
of a rocket fired from Gaza as southern Israel intercepted with the Iron Dome by the Israeli Defense Force. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakadash. Double honors to the elders for pushing this word uh, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. Until next time, I will say shalom.